fucking ash you know i thought he was gonna die in a ditch i i swear it so welcome guys to ash versus evil dead we're talking the killer of killers spoiler review so if you haven't seen the episode turn back now or watch my other videos or if you're quietly I, I, i'm assuming you saw the episode because this episode was quite good uh it was really good I, still, the acting, I will say, in the series is not very good. Kelly really showcased that she's not a very good actress. Even Pablo wasn't he wasn't selling it for me. I felt like they were acting. And that's the problem with the series is the acting is not is subpar. It's not all too well done. Except Bruce Campbell. He's very... The reason why he's doing such a great job, too, is he's so energetic, enthusiastic, and charming that we really do enjoy him on screen. But in episode, this episode, we saw them, we saw, you know, after Pablo's uncle, they burned them and all stuff, they go and they get something to eat, the book is starting to play weird stuff, you know, starting to really act up, they have to go back to the cabin, which I cannot wait for them to go back to the cabin, you see that cop really following Bruce Campbell or Ash, uh, but beforehand, Lucy Lawless gets burnt, like, she gets taken, so, I'm pretty sure she'll be back, I don't think she's dead, but it seemed like she... They made it seem like she was dead because she gets burned alive and stuff. Uh, she gets taken by the demon who was, I think it was Pablo's uncle or whatever. So, but we see the cop really find Ash and call in for the head, one of her superiors to come in and take him down because she's not she's not supposed to be doing this so she te she calls one of her superiors and ash and kelly and pablo are all eating and stuff and they said he said okay who's gonna split the bill and kelly and pablo are like wait wait wait, you told us to do this your treat yeah yeah you're like oh yeah i got this round right here and that's where kelly was like acting was not that great but um it's so funny he's like all right, all right wait in the rv I'll, I'll i'll cover it right now so Pablo and Kelly are in RV, and the the problem with Pablo is he still he definitely has a little strong feelings for Kelly, and he's trying to figure out did Kelly really want to sleep with him or not. So they're going back and forth with that. Kelly's like, you know, maybe there is a little bit of me that kind of you know wants this to happen. So we'll see if that happens though. Uh, they're trying to figure out ways to destroy the book without burning it. Uh, Kelly doesn't necessarily want that because she wants to kill as many of these fuckers as possible, these demons, because of what they did to her family and to her. And Pop was like, bitch, you're crazy. <laughs> and then we have Ash trying to go Casanova and try to skip off the bill by telling the waitress, like, hey, Nancy, right? Uh, I like your rack, pretty much. He's like, oh, let's go in the back. You know, I can't pay twenty two fifty, but I can give you more than that. Meet me at the stall, <laughs> which was I thought her boyfriend, her husband, who was the cook, was gonna come in and beat the shit out of him. But a demon comes in. Uh, well, one of the, the the cop chick gets Ash, and there's like a kid in the stall too, hearing all the commotion. Where this chick just like beats the shit out of Ash, puts him in custody, basically gonna take him in. Uh, her superior gets there. They're, he finds out okay yeah you're, you're the guy who's causing all this so they're gonna about to book him and take him in but a demon shows up possesses not only the superior but possesses the waitress so they gotta fight them off that was a fun entertaining scene you see ash with his chainsaw you see him with his boom boom stick you know taking mean i liked his hand and how pablo made his hand and he was able to switch a switch and have like a little uh, uh like a little knife so to speak come out and just start stabbing the waitress and shit uh so it was great it, that that was great a lot of puns a lot of puns in this episode what was fucked up was the kid comes out of the stall and he starts running and booking it and the demon who possessed the superior grabs the kid throws him up in the air and and the kid dies the kid dies from uh this the uh, what's it called the fan I thought that was fucked up that was fucked up man that was a great moment and a great moment too was when the demon first busts in the restaurant and these two like people just fly into the window so a lot of great stunt work a lot of great st uh, stuff to be entertained in this episode uh, Ash of course defeats the demons he offers the cop chick to come with him the, she believes him now so she does she does that and um that was pretty much the gist of the episode. It was a simple episode. Not too much going on. I think they really relied on the humor. It was still very entertaining. Because you know what? Ash still has to fight these demons. And once Ash starts fighting these demons, it's hilarious. I thought Pablo's going with the gun and just skidding through the floor was a little bit ridiculous. But that's what the show is. It's ridiculous. It's entertaining. The acting's still not that great. But I think you should definitely take hold of this episode if you're definitely a 
spoof parody or overall fan of evil dead i absolutely love the show i'm very entertained by it and i'm interested i can't wait till they get back to the cabin and finally just do something there so thank you guys for listening if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button would really appreciate it hit that subscribe button for ash baby boom baby groovy <laughs> like the video if you like it and comment below love to hear you guys thoughts on this episode and i'm dan megan son and i'm out of here bye guys you guys have a good night